camera. All right, so we have a very exciting uh, Monday afternoon. Uh, a package has just arrived from uh, let's see, from Marathon Spares, uh, which is a company in Queensland and New South Wales that specialise in Jeep parts. And uh, when I bought the Jeep and I announced it on Facebook, uh, the very first thing people said to me was, uh, "Make sure you buy your stuff from Marathon Spares." And I. I have to say, I've, I've half forgotten what I've ordered, but we're going to have a, a good look in here and see what we've got. But I will say this. I recall from making the online order that the, the prices of the parts struck me as about half what I've been paying for equivalent VW parts. So that's already switched me on pretty big time to, uh, to the Jeep world. And in fact, the prices, uh, uh, dollar for dollar and taking uh, conversion rates into account, were still even cheaper than the prices I was seeing on US sites. So that's quite impressive. Okay, quite a heavy box here. Oh, the other thing I'd like to say about Marathon Spares, it's an old business and it's clearly run by old guys and there was no fancy... Uh, online interface. In fact, there was like a five-year-old PDF uh, list of, of parts and uh, I had to physically type out an email where I asked for the items from the PDF and then like uh, two days later I get an, a very brief email back uh, from a fella saying, uh, no worries, just give us an address and then the next day a notice saying it's dispatched and there's an invoice with it. They didn't even ask for money up front. So, wow, oldie time service. Let's see what we've got. It Well, it's packed with uh, Sunday, Sunday Telegraph uh, weekend inserts. Okay, that's very oldie worldy. No bubble wrap here. Okay. Um, ooh. Fan belt. Remember our old fan belt, which was all cracking and falling apart? Excellent. That's going on. What else have we got? Mm, more Sunday inserts. Aha! Oh, -ho. <gasps> oh, a thing of beauty. Our new oil filter and seal. Now, let's just quickly compare with our disgusting old one back in the tip. Mm. This is our disgusting old filter and it's got metal sides and it's still, after draining for several days, it's still all gooey and shitty. Put that down. Uh, this one, it's got a paper side and I can see it's got a, a proper folded paper element in it. It's not chocked full of what looks like uh, foam or something in that one. So, mmm, excellent, excellent, excellent. <laughs> Very impressive. Uh, and these were not cheap, by the way, these oil filters, but um, still, I mean, compared to other oil filters. Oh, we've got some shock absorbers. Remember the... Uh, on the front of the vehicle, one shock absorber is missing completely, and another one uh, is just, you know, making a rattly dingy noise. Mm, delicious shock absorbers. Mm. Wagoner, wagoneer, genuine parts. Woohoo! Well, I'm very happy. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, this is a handbrake cable. The old one snapped. And it's going to be a complete shitter to put in because it's very cramped underneath. But, oh, God, it's going to be good to have something that actually breaks the vehicle that I can rely on because it's a physical brake. That's great. Tie rod ends. Oh, beautiful. They're going in real, sm real smart. Yep, yep. 
Excellent. Um, so there's a pin, a split pin, probably for, yeah, yeah, that'll be for the, yep, for the tie rod end. There should be another one of those somewhere. Always buy two. Yep, there's the other one. Ha 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 ha. So, ye olde will be cork rocket cover gasket. So, yeah, very soon I'm going to pull the existing rocket cover off and, hmm, um, not just replace the gasket, but just looking underneath is going to tell me a lot about what the engine is like. Um, well, however it is, is how it is. All right. Uh, hopefully it will stop that, that leak on the side of the rocket cover. Because there's, there's oil come, seeping down in, and, and, and coming into the well of the number three spark plug. So we had to change that anyway. Uh, I hope this is what I want it to be. Quality replacement part for Jeep vehicles. Mm. Thermostat. So this is going to open up when the... Uh, the water gets hot and let it flow through into the radiator. Excellent. At the moment there's no thermostat there so it just runs cold and that's not good for the motor. Ah, some more Sunday newspaper wrapping. You beauty! Okay, so we've got in here our gasket for the thermostat and we have the wheel a wheel stud and a nut and is it a lefty it's a lefty woohoo so you may I don't know if Marcus uh, edited that one in or out but um, uh, the first time I tried to take the wheels the wheel nuts off I was turning the ones on the left the wrong way around they managed to clear snap this off so new one a week later Bada bing, bada boom. Beautiful. Let's put the thermostat and the, uh, the gasket in the same plastic bag. This is great. I love these guys. Fantastic. Newspaper. You know what this newspaper is going to be handy for? I'm going to hang on to this and I'm going to use it for masking when we, when we do some more spray painting. What's this one? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Looking. Genuine wing mirror. Ha, ha, ha. For Willie's Jeep. It's even got the military uh, olive drab. Mm. Too late to change the paint colour. And this then, theoretically... This should be the frame that the, uh, the mirror goes on. No, it's not. I don't have a frame. Or do I? Oh, I've still got... Ah, this should be the frame. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Yes, see? Swings on the side. Attaches to the side. Swings... Oh, it's a bit stiff. That's all right. I unscrew this, adjust the length, etc. Beautiful. Can swing out. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So then, what is what is this in Pinar? I love opening boxes, don't you? It's like Christmas. Oh, this is a thing of beauty indeed. I might have to get I might have to get the same for my Kubel wagon one day. You know what this is? This this is a wiper motor. <laughs> Off on oh this is marvellous. Off on. So That'll go the top of the windscreen over the driver's side. Bugger the passenger, right? 
and then and we've got positive negative and yep when it rains we just turn it on when it stops raining turn it off couldn't get any better and we've got our wiper and our where is he oh god it's beautiful oh god it's beautiful now wiper blade yeah i need the water i need to cut water, a couple of these for my cooper wagon good old tiny wiper blades when they used to be eight inches long and <laughs> almost useless oh god i love it all right so that's our unboxing mm, very very happy days all right so i'm going to um, organize my bits now uh, finish my coffee and also start to do some more paint stripping so that i can take advantage of this lovely weather we're having to uh, do some more body work all right thanks for joining me today for this monster unboxing I'm sure it won't be the last. And um, wow, let's uh, let's take it from here. Cheers.